Say you go out for a stroll one day and you have your compact field case with you, your $71 field case, and uh-oh, the sky gets a little dark. And then suddenly it starts raining, but all your art supplies are in your, at your um, expensive <laughs> pencil case. And um, it's a downpour, but you don't have to worry because it's water resistant and you'll get it out of the water right away. Hi, I'm Greg, aka Vaxenic, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Etcher Lab field case. A $71 art supply case meant for going outside. Something I don't do because it's trying to kill me and I generally don't like people. I've had it for about a month and a half now. I keep all my generally used supplies in it. So that's uh, black colored pencils, pencil blenders, uh, all my fine liners, you know, the general fare that I like. This case is vegan friendly, if that matters to you. This area here is a polyester and this here is tough tech i don't know what tough tech is but um for the price of it i'm assuming it's good it is water resistant not waterproof water resistant same as our phones it is it has a roomy interior made out of nice materials it's felt and ripstock i know what felt is i do not know what ripstock is this is the felt here i'm assuming these materials here the stretchy elastic stuff is ripstock it has a pouch right here for putting stuff in it has another pouch that zips up like this and as you can see I have it filled to the brim. It can hold quite a bit. The zippers have been sturdy, haven't snagged up on me and you can see they got this right here which helps with it being water resistant. And I've had no problems with it. It is definitely pricey. I'm assuming most of that has to do with the materials, but the stitching and everything on it is quality. I haven't noticed any stitches that are pulling, any fraying. It also comes with this nice uh, shoulder strap here. Everything feels like quality materials the way it's all put together screams quality and care you might be saying to yourself it's a pencil case why are we looking at a pencil case well I am curious about how water resistant this actually is So, I'm going to take this and put paper in it and hit it with uh, water and hope I don't ruin it. Okay, I have some printer paper here. I am going to cut it down to size because it does not fit an 8x11 uh, pad, so you will need a smaller uh, drawing pad or watercolor paper or whatever it is to fit in there, because you can do that. But yeah, regular printer paper. And we're going to put it in here. Then I'm going to pour water on it. 
H2O. And we're gonna see if it gets wet. It's kind of my uh, litmus test, or lit, litmus, litness, whatever. It's my test. If the paper gets wet, water got inside. So let's see how much water it takes to make this paper look wet. So we'll start with a cap full. Oop. And we're just gonna dump it on there. It rolls right off. Rolls around, but you can tell it's wet. It's paper. It's wet. It gets soggy. It buckles. It's not a particularly uh, quality paper. This is a uh, budget printer paper. Because who needs luxury printer paper? Let's just put drop on there. Can I just get a drop on it? And there we go. Little droplets. Yep. Little droplets. Little drops of water. Yay! The paper's wet. Look at that. Yeah, it doesn't take much to show. It's wet. Look, that's what it looks like when it's been sitting. So we'll dump the water on there and we'll let it sit for a moment and see if anything inside saturates. So you go out for a stroll one day and you have your compact field case with you, your $71 field case, and uh-oh, the sky gets a little dark. And then suddenly, it starts raining, but all your art supplies are in your, at your, um, expensive <laughs> pencil case, and, um, it's a downpour, but you don't have to worry because it's water resistant, and you'll get it out of the water right away. And, oh no, it's a monsoon. It's getting wet. Uh, it's not, the water runs right off it. <clears throat> but, you know, look at that. Right off. I don't know if it's getting in the seams or not, but, uh, because the seams are not welded. If you look at the FAQ on their website, they do state their products would be much more expensive if the seams were welded. But what we're concerned about is around the zipper area where they have this. So say you drop it in a puddle or a uh, car splashes you and you get hit with a lot of water. What's going to happen there? I feel like such a... Um, yeah, it's only water though. Water dries. We're just gonna dump it right there. Yeah, see it nice and soaked. Get that fabric nice and soaked. You got the water running off of it though. Like it's nothing. But this this is kind of what you would expect if you were to get out with your entry right there by the zippers, because that's where I would expect the seam to let water in the most. So we're just yeah, we're going for it now. We're really Peterbilt just drove by you. You just got a wave on you. And yeah. So far, if you're an indoor person like me, and you just want a compact solution for easily moving all your mostly used art supplies, the ones you really like around easily. Because even though this is small, it holds a lot. And even with everything in there that I showed you, I <laughs> haven't had problems with the zippers or anything. And it does, it hasn't looked like the seams or anything are bulging or ready to give out and whatnot. And like even this, none of this has got stuck and whatnot. And like all this looks like it's painted really well. Like it's coated so it shouldn't rust, I hope. I mean, it's a field case. You would hope it's designed so that if it gets wet, the zippers would not rust, right? So we just soaked it pretty good as though you, like, dropped it in a puddle or um, got uh, splashed by, like, a large truck or something. Like, you were outside, like, plain air painting. You have some, like, pans, some watercolor paper, and some brushes and whatnot in there. 
and you packed it up for the day, you're ready to go home, and because it's about to rain, it starts raining, and then a truck hits a puddle of water. And let's see if it got wet. Let's see if the paper got wet. Because I wet it pretty good. Yeah, some water got in there. Not a lot, though. I mean, look at that. The camera's picking that up. Just like that. And it was sitting in here like this. So the water got in down here. And even this is a little wet, but that's a given because the paper is like that. And, um... And feel around on the felt here. None of that feels wet. Now I believe this is where I was, um, I believe this right down here <coughs> is where the, you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. So right down here, and sorry about the coughing in the background, but it just is what it is. Leave a comment down below saying, bless you. I hope you feel better because the person coughing is the person who bought this for me and they're awesome so wish them well but uh yeah this is a little wet but that's it it's not really all that wet like there's the paper soaked it up but now it pretty much stayed dry and you see and I was pouring it on there pretty good so let's uh do this now um Let's say you left it outside in the rain overnight. And how much water got in? Look, that was only enough water for it to soak through two pieces of paper. I'd say that's pretty damn good. So really, really was not a lot of water. So we're going to do this. We're going to put this back in here. Right? Make sure it covers the height of the thing and we're gonna zip it back up and that's pretty wet this is my normal desk there's like a computer and everything under here so I'm a bit of a dope but um it's where I record everything though so for science now we're gonna I hate doing this <laughs> but it's only water we're not going to ruin it so you leave it out in the rain one night and it's propped up on something prismacolor points surprise prismacolor points break and um you leave it out in the rain it's propped up on something but you didn't know it was going to rain and it just it starts raining oh no is there felt in here oh there's felt in there i hope it don't get stinky um and we'll just pour it along the seat. Oh, never mind. The felt got wet. And it's raining pretty good. And it's out there for hours. This hurts. This hurts my soul. But it's for science and for your information. If you're looking to buy this little case and wondering how water resistant it actually is, you're going to find out. And it's coming down claps of thunder. And it wakes you up. Oh, <coughs> my stuff is outside. Oh, no. You wake up, you run outside, you get it, you got your expensive Fabriano paper in there and whatnot. Or your marker paper. It's all soaked now. Look at how wet that is. It's soppy. It's moist. The tail is moist, people. Hopefully the inside of this is not all that moist. Let's see, let's open it now. And you're in a rush, you're not thinking about it, so you open it like this, possibly letting more water in there. And you're in a rush. Still no problems opening the zipper though. And we open it and... Nothing. Oh, right there. Where you would expect it. At the zippers. But, uh... That's it. Yeah, the zippers are a little wet. But no, the paper, look at that. This is from me handling it. This was dry. This is... That's good. That's damn good. I don't know if it would take eight hours of like a straight downpour, but... That was a pretty good stream of water. 
So here's what I think about this. I got it for 60 some dollars on Blick about a month and a half ago. Let's fix the uh, focus on my camera because it's stupid. There we go. And um, I've been using it for a month and a half. I keep it jam packed, you've seen that. And I've had no problems with it. Um, the zippers are great. It's obviously water resistant. Like, they say water resistant and you would think of oh, something like I just did, like it, the paper would be like fully saturated and it wasn't. Um, but now the zippers are great. It holds so much stuff and nothing is showing any signs of like really giving out. Like it just, it, I love it. And I don't go outside because again, the outside is trying to kill you and I don't like people. So I avoid the outside. The sun is going to cook you. So I can't go out there, but, um, it's nah. look at that. It's just good. It's a nice case. Like it's just, it's satisfying to touch. It's so soft. It's soft. It's just, it's great. It's awesome. Really. This is awesome. I would recommend it if you're looking for a solution for all your fine liners and like pencils that you use and paint pens. Cause if you look at what I'm keeping in there, um, like I got this brush pen, I got some Prismacolors in there. That's how much I trust it. I got paint pens. Um, I keep, I have those, uh, mono erasers. So I keep the, uh, refills for those mechanical mono erasers in there and it's, if you have the money to burn and you're looking for an easy way to cart around all the stuff you like using, I strongly, I highly recommend this. This is something that is awesome. It's convenient. And if you ever do have to go outside and visit your family and you want to ignore them, you have this to throw in your backpack with all your art supplies so you can slink off to the side and draw or paint and ignore everyone. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. Have a good one.